first question is, how would you describe coping with mental health? For me, it means freedom to feel, to, to live, and experience good and bad emotions, dignity and respect of my rights to be. Patience, like a lot of patience. And I mean, I've experienced mental health issues now for about 10 years. Coping with mental health is, is definitely unique to every single person. You know, it's, it's something that we all have and recognizing the power of the mind, I think is like kind of a force that we have to come to terms with. So I had two words, determination, determination and perseverance. perseverance. The cert, like you never know what's going on in someone else's life. Yeah, no one's trying to. And so I watched him struggle, and I was unable to help him. I was 16, 17. I was diagnosed with depression and PTSD. Especially because I'm kind of always expected to be on and, and very present and very active. Mental health thrives in silence, you know. Mental health in itself is an already very large spectrum. It goes across, you know, you can have bad mental health days, you can have good mental health days. Even for people that aren't, let's say, suffering from depression, it's, I think it's important that they understand what it's about so that they can carry the conversation and they can understand what people mean when they talk about it. We are a mix of a lot of emotions and it's fine to feel everything and like you should be able to feel everything really talking to the younger generation and, and getting rid of any stigma around mental health. Now is really the time to talk about mental health and put things in place. And I think what COVID has done is it's really made us society or you know, people as a whole think about what kind of world do we really want to live in.